Hello and welcome to another video of Deliberately Lost. My name is Juju and we have Marco behind the camera who's very camera shy. Today I'm going to talk a little bit about how we went to the Maldives. We didn't really make a video last time about the Maldives except for that promotional video just because we didn't really have that much time. But basically I want to talk a little bit about how Maldives was such a different kind of place than we are used to. I didn't think I would ever go there just because it's so famous for its luxurious yachts and resorts and it's a place where honeymooners go. It's quite expensive just because you have to travel from one island to the other and it's via boat or plane. It makes it expensive to travel around Maldives. I think you can do it cheap kind of backpacking style but it will definitely be way more expensive than any other South Asian country you are used to going to. In those resorts you can do diving, kayaking, jet skiing, dolphin watching, snorkeling and other water related activities. It was really nice to reunite with Marco because I was stuck in Sri Lanka with COVID. So after my negative test, I directly went like literally a few hours after that, I went to the Maldives and we started working for about one month in a dive center. So we were gonna help open that dive center up and experience Maldivian culture and everything. Maldives has 26 atolls and it has around 1200 islands so it's very much surrounded by water we were on a local island called Fulidu Fulidu is on the Vavu atoll that particular island is known for its nurse sharks and stingrays just next to the beach what I mean with local island it is that locals living on it there's a lot of islands in Maldives so there's also a lot of islands where it's just made for tourism in Maldives there's only one religion and everybody who is from Maldives is Muslim. This is very different than any country I've experienced. In our island, local islands, it is illegal to consume any alcohol or to even own alcohol. It's really interesting, like the locals, um, I can't say this, but they go to boats, try to get drunk a little bit on the boat and then go back to their island drunk. Uh, so they didn't break the rules, but they did break the rules because they can't consume alcohol, but it wasn't on the island. So um, that's really funny. Like a lot of people do that. Also tourists, uh, if they're not on that resort kind of island. We got a job, so we didn't have to pay for food and we didn't have to pay for a place to stay. So that really, really helped. And we get a little um, salary at the end of the month to help with getting there basically. Obviously, because it's so water related, it's a diving paradise. There is any type of shark that you probably heard about, especially the big ones like whale sharks and hammerheads and just really, really nice black tip uh, or white tip reef sharks. There's just so much diversity there. So it really is like a diver's dream. And that's also a really big reason why I wanted to come there. Unfortunately, I didn't really get to dive, but yeah, that's a part of the experience. You come to a place, you don't know the people, sometimes it works out so well and you are in love with those people that you met, they're your best friends for life. And then sometimes it doesn't really work out. That's literally traveling. It's good, bad, but meh, I still went to the Maldives. So even if I didn't have the best experience there with uh, some of the people I worked, it was still very nice to have gone there and to snorkel around and saw so many sharks just in front of the dive center. It was really, really nice. There are two sharks just there. And basically what happened is that those rocks are super shallow that's like a little barrier but now that the sharks came over them they are stuck here because they want to go out where they came from yeah okay so we just tried to take the sharks out because we didn't know if they're gonna get stuck because it's gonna get low tide soon 
So I hope all three of them are out and they're not coming back in again at the wrong time because that could be... I mean, it couldn't be fatal, but it will be stuck there for another high tide basically and then maybe they can get out, so yeah. There are nurse sharks and pretty big as well, <laughs> so it was a little bit scary being so close to them, but we tried to shoo them in the right direction. It's good to have a, a local from here to know what he's doing. And also a big thing to know about Maldives is that it's one of the flattest countries in the world. This is actually a really big problem because even when we were there for only one month, we saw the island yeah, shrinking completely. There was a lot of tractors putting boulders all on the beach just to try and slow the process of basically the beach disappearing. And we saw it in just one month. It was really um, kind of scary. Also, the locals were talking about it a lot. So to get to the Maldives for a tourist visa, you don't need a PCR test, but you do need an insurance that covers any COVID bills. You need a travel declaration form and also uh, an onwards ticket, a confirmation of a booking for the hotel so they know where you're staying and a travel declaration form as well when you get out of the country. So we can put a few links down below so it makes it a little bit easier if you want to go to Maldives. If you're not a diver, please do it there. It's going to be an amazing, amazing experience. You're going to have so much sea life there. It's going to be hard to compare any other dive trips after that. Thank you so much for watching. We're going to do a little bit of an update of where we are right now, which is Croatia and how we got there. And yeah, we're really excited to be doing more videos and to be back into the YouTube world. I know we are working, but we still have to put some time into it. We hope you liked it. If you did, um, you can like, subscribe and comment. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.